Hey guys, it's me, and today I am here with a new video for you guys. Yes, we're doing a hair coloring video because I haven't done one of these in years. As we all know, my hair is practically blonde now. There's still some like blue bits clinging on for dear life in my hair from when I had green hair at the earlier parts of the year. Um, I think it was like in February. Yeah, it was beginning of February when I got my hair done green. Um, it was like greens and yellows and whatnot. It was really pretty, really fun. But as we all know, blues are hard to get out of the hair, especially if you try to bleach blue out of the hair. Also, I straightened my hair for the first time today since I've started growing out my hair. And I'm surprised for one that I still got it and did this and like I think I did this in like less than 30 minutes, I think. Um, which I'm shocked by everything that I went through all of my hair. Secondly, it's shocking seeing just how long my hair actually is now. I knew that it was around this length, but I it didn't really settle in with me that it was actually this long. And also, I am very, very aware that my ends need to be trimmed now, so. Yeah, I don't know when I'm going to be able to go see my stylist to get a trim, but hopefully I'll figure that out because for one, I don't know when I'll have the money to actually get that done. And two, I don't know when I'm going to have the time to go get that done. So it probably won't be until around Christmas before I get my ends trimmed. So we're just going to have to deal with the very dry, brittle ends for a little bit. I mean, I take really good care of my hair anyway, so I'm not too, too concerned with things getting bad and whatnot. And I mean, like, like I mentioned, this was my first time putting heat on my hair myself at least since I started growing out my hair. And that was like almost two and a half years ago now. So yeah, whatever my stylist would color my hair and whatnot, she would heat style it and whatnot. But yeah, that was just like, she did my hair three times over the course of about a year. Actually, not even a year. It was less than a year that she did my hair. So since growing out my hair, my hair has only been heat styled, but four times. So yeah. Anyways, why am I going on about heat styling? We're here about me coloring my hair. So what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be doing not necessarily... I don't want to say that we're doing pastel colors, but at the same time, we are kind of doing pastel colors. I have some color left over. I have three two ounce jars full of color left over from when I tried toning my hair a few months ago. It was back in July. I mixed way too much color in this concoction here. And how I make my toners is that I will use the Amplified Formula of Manic Panics Ultraviolet. It has to be the Amplified because the original formula, it's slightly different in color. The Amplified Formula has a bit more blue in it, almost has like a periwinkle type of tone to it. And so when you dilute it, not only will it work as like a toner because purple counteracts yellow on the car wheel, so it's gonna like cool down your blonde, make it less brassy, make it more silvery, more gray. But because of that blue tone that's in there, it's gonna make it a little bit more in like a bluey purpley shift and whatnot. It's super pretty. It's been a go-to of mine for years and years and years. I'll mix it in with a lot of conditioner. This is just one that I got from Ulta a few months ago. It's the uh, Biolage Ultra Hydra Source Conditioning Balm. When you're making your own little concoctions for like toners and whatnot, you need to use white conditioner, which this one is here. Oh my God, shut up phone. A personal thing for me is that I and like silicon free when it comes to hair products and whatnot because having silicons in your products yes it's going to make your hair more shiny and whatnot but it's also going to make it difficult for products to actually penetrate into the hair so going silicon free just allows it to where any hair care products i put in my hair actually penetrates into the hair and actually is helping the hair out because like to put it in perspective i haven't gotten a trim since beginning of february and I'm just now like seeing and noticing the effects of not getting a trim. And we're in like mid-October now. So yeah, well I say mid-October, I started noticing around the beginning of the month. But 
you get the gist. But that's really it. My ends are just dry. I haven't noticed any breakage or anything like that. But I got this during the leader sale that Ulta was having and whatnot. So that's why I have this guy because it already went on sale and I've heard great things about it. And it's a silicon free conditioner. There was another one that I wanted to get during the leader sale, but it was sold out. I think it was from Nexus. And I wanted to get that one instead because it was going to be cheaper, but it had already had sold out. Now, what I'm going to do, because I do want this to pull more blue, because I'm kind of thinking like almost like a smoky, bluey kind of color. And the only blue that I have in my stash is the Amplified Formula of Rockabilly Blue from Man of Panic, which this is one of my all time favorite blues. It is absolutely stunning. I'm going to mix some of this in with the toner that I created. I put it in air quotes because I put way too much color in it. I'll show you guys the results of when I first did it. It pretty much is pastel purple hair color, which I mean, I'm not afraid of having too, too much pigment in my toners and whatnot, but if you put too, too much pigment to the point where the color that you mix into the conditioner is noticeable in your hair, that's how you know you put too much in there. I'm gonna mix a little bit of Rockabilly Blue into the mixture. I also have my conditioner out here so that way I can um, add a little bit more if I think that I'm going to need a little bit more product or if I want to like dilute it down a little bit. And I think when I made this, yes, and I believe when I made this color here, I think I mixed in a little bit of the Olaplex number no. seven, which is their oil. I, so I think I mixed, yeah, I mixed in a little bit of that hair oil in with this. I'm not gonna mix any more oil into this concoction. Well, I'll put a little bit extra in there. I'm trying to go for like a smoky blue. I don't think I'm actually gonna get that, but I don't want this to be in like a very super vibrant blue. I don't want it to be bright. I don't want it to be in like bam in your face. I want it to be a little bit more softer, something that I know that will easily fade out of my hair. I don't want it being too, too soft, but I don't want it being too, too bright, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to go ahead and whip out my little bowl here and I'm going to go ahead and start pumping this stuff in, or should I say emptying this stuff in. And by the way, like some of these jars have like old labels that I've written on them from years past because I've been using these guys for years to like store hair color in them but you guys can see the color a little bit better here so I'm just gonna go ahead and just start emptying the product out into my bowls here also in the after photo like not only is my hair gonna be looking a bit different but I'm also gonna trim my beard my neck beard. I did my brows the other day and whatnot, so I'm not going to worry about my brows. But um, Pride is this weekend. Um, and probably when this video goes up, I will be at Pride. I wanted to like have like fresh, nice looking hair for Pride because I've never been to Pride, shockingly enough. I was going to try to go last year, but Pride in Atlanta is in October. And last year um, in September, I got a really dangerous case of tonsillitis. And because of that case of tonsillitis, I couldn't go to Pride because it took me about, it took me about a month and a half to fully recover from it. Not only from just having the tonsillitis in general, but also from like the antibiotics that they had me on. They had me on clindamycin for when I got my initial misdiagnosis and then after I went to the ER, I was on clindamycin for just under a month. If you've never been on clindamycin or are unfamiliar with it, it is a very, very strong antibiotic. And um, yeah, it did a massive number on me. It took me a while to recover from that. And then again, like I said, it took me a while in general just to recover from the um, tonsillitis because that did a massive number on me. I think I've talked about it before. I think I might've talked about it in the first video that I have on this channel, but um, I wound up having to go to the ER because my tonsils were so swollen that they were touching each other and I sounded like meat mod from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. And I had also had developed sleep apnea. So yeah, not a good time. I got pretty much 
everything that I could get out of those containers into this bowl right here. And I think I might add in just a little bit. And I mean just a little bit more of ultraviolet. Just a little bit more. I say just a little bit and I actually put in a decent amount. Okay, so I put that much of the ultraviolet in there. Oh my god, my phone. My phone has been blowing up for like the last like five or so minutes because my prep is able to be renewed and so I'm getting a bunch of text messages from the service that I use about renewing my prep so I should probably respond to those. Let me go ahead and grab the um, number seven bowl as well that way I can mix in just a little bit of that into here um, but I'll show you guys what the color is looking like now. So that's what it looks like in the bowl and this is what it looks like on the brush. Now, would it make more sense to maybe put like Olaplex conditioner in this instead of like the oil and everything? Absolutely. But I don't have an Olaplex conditioner. I have an Olaplex shampoo, but not a conditioner. So yeah, if you're curious, I use the um, clarifying from them, but I just put couple drops in there well I say a couple drops a few drops in there um, so I'm just gonna mix this into the concoction this isn't gonna do that much aside from just put a little bit of the Olaplex bonding oil into the mixture and everything it's just gonna lightly because I put just like the tiniest amount of the oil the oil is already like a very low concentration of their bond repairing um, solution and whatnot. So it's not gonna do a whole lot in that regards, but it's just gonna give like a little bit of an extra something something to it. Got that mixed in. So now I'm gonna mix in some of the Rockabilly Blue. I don't know how much of this I'm gonna pop in here. I'm probably gonna put in a fair amount so I can make sure that it actually goes blue. Forgot that the Amplified formula looks a little bit different from the original formula because the amplified of rockabilly blue i don't know how well you guys are going to be able to tell because i know when i look in the viewfinder things look a lot different than like how they'll look when it's on my computer but the amplified formula of rockabilly blue looks a bit more gray than it does in the original formula the original formula it's like very like blurple looking it's definitely more blue Again, I can't tell how things are looking in the viewfinder because it all looks the same to me in the viewfinder as it did before. That's what we're working with right now. And I'm gonna mix in just a little bit, and I mean just a little bit more of this Rockabilly Blue. And again, when I say a little bit, I mean like another like dollop of it. But I think I'm going to Mix in just a little bit of conditioner. I'm not gonna put a whole lot of extra conditioner in here. Just a little bit though. But first I wanna make sure that I work this into the bowl. I know I'm not showing you guys how I'm doing this really and whatnot, but I mean, there are so many hair coloring tutorials out there. I've been coloring my hair on YouTube for years. If you wanna see some of my creations, you can go check out my previous Beauty Fashion Lifestyle channel. If I still have those videos public, I might have privated some of them. Or you can go like check out like really good like hair coloring people like um, AKA Hazelin. I love watching her videos. She knows what it is that she's talking about when it comes to hair color and whatnot. I mean, she's a cosmetologist, but it's still like, Homegirl is the queen of rainbow hair. All right, and now this is what we got going on. I can definitely tell right now in the viewfinder that is more blue and that it's darker. Um, and same thing on the brush here. But I don't think I wanna go any darker than this. And now I've plopped in about that much. It's probably about maybe like an ounce or half an ounce of an extra conditioner. Because I know this bowl is only going to be able to hold, but probably eight ounces. I don't want to go over that. Now, when it comes to mixing this, like how I'm mixing it, I'm not only I'm just like stirring it around, but I'm making sure to fold it as well. I know I can't really show it too, too well. I'll try, but like folding it like this, almost as if you were baking. And that just helps to ensure that like all the product is getting mixed in nice and evenly. 
I know some of you might be thinking like, oh, well, you kind of know what it is that you're doing with hair and whatnot. I used to want to go to cosmetology school because I love coloring my hair so much growing up. And because I mean, for those of you who are unaware, I'm 28. I've been coloring my own hair since I was 17. No, 16. Since I was 16. I've been having colorful hair for a very, very long time. I still go back and forth as to whether or not I want to go to cosmetology school, but because of the fact that I keep flip-flopping on it is that's what's keeping me from actually doing it because it's a lot of money to go to cosmetology school. I think several years ago when I looked into it, like without like any grants or like scholarships or anything going towards it and loans and whatnot, it was going to cost me, uh, for this one particular school, and this is just like a regular schmegular cosmetology school, it was gonna cost me about 24 grand to go. And this was like several years ago as well, so it's probably a lot more now. But this is what we got going on right now. I'm gonna go ahead and move into my bathroom. I'm gonna apply this off screen because I mean, you guys don't really need to see me applying this color to my hair on screen. Um, but also because I can't really film in my bathroom. There's not enough space to set up my camera and to work around in there. And I'm sure as hell I'm not filming out here. But I'm going to go ahead and go and work this into my hair. And the plan is to make sure to run it through all of my hair. Make sure it gets nice and saturated all the way through. It's probably going to take me about an hour to get this fully applied to my hair. And then I'm going to leave it in for about at least... 40 minutes, at least 40 minutes. I have a tendency, especially when I make like custom colors like this, where I have my conditioners mixed in with it, I usually will leave them in for about an hour, sometimes even longer. And it's because for one, it's not gonna hurt your hair to leave it in longer and whatnot. It's gonna help to ensure that the color takes a lot more. That's one thing for sure. But after a certain amount of time, it's not gonna take any more extra color and you're just letting product sit in your hair but because in fact these are direct colors that we're working with you can leave them in your hair for as long as you wanted to if you wanted to sleep on it you could do so i think the longest i've left direct colors in my hair i think was about maybe like six hours and that's because i wound up like doing chores and whatnot and so it just sat in my hair for a long time but i will see you guys in a bit y'all ready for a twist this is what we got, bitch. So, not a smoky blue, but more so like cobalt blue, like a bright blue. Yeah, I basically made the regular version of rockabilly blue somehow from Manic Panic, and I don't even know how. <laughs> like, there is so much conditioner in that. There is maybe like six maybe seven ounces of conditioner in there probably closer to six ounces of conditioner and then like at most an ounce worth of color and yet it turned out this deep now granted i didn't shampoo my hair at all like this is just like me rinsing the color out and putting some conditioner in well technically i use a conditioning mask but still and I also straightened my hair again today because I'm trying to get reacquainted with straightening my hair not that I'm gonna be doing this very often but more so just to like get used to doing it but also today is second day hair because I mean since my hair went through the ringer yesterday and basically got washed even though it didn't get washed my hair was going to be like super curly yesterday and like I'll show you guys like the photo of how it looked right over here so you guys can see how it was when it finally dried and my curls and their beautiful wonder. The second day hair when you have curly hair it never looks right. I mean I'm sure that there are probably ways to sleep on curly hair to make it to where it does come out looking okay but I don't know those tips and tricks and whatnot. But what I can do if I want to like actually show off my hair like the day after like it's been washed and everything and I want to show off my hair but I don't want to like 
deal with it being curly I can just straighten it um, or if I just want to do like I've been doing for the past few months just throw it into a bun but yeah but this is the color it took pretty well there are some areas towards the um, demarcation line where it didn't take the best and I don't know if it's just simply because of the tone of the blonde in those areas because I know that there are some areas when my stylist did my hair back in February where um, some parts of my roots they just didn't lift very well for whatever reason so I'm thinking like the areas where it didn't take the best towards the line of demarcation it's just simply because either the hair just isn't the most porous in those areas or because it's not the lightest shade of blonde so it just doesn't look as if like it did anything in those particular areas but overall though it came out very even and I can't complain about that I was expecting to go like a almost like smoky pastel leaning blue and here we are with this bright ass blue which again I'm not mad about this at all I'm very very happy with this shade of blue and it's reinvigorated my love of having blue hair by like so so much I love having blue hair now that I have like this deeper blue in my hair I wish that it was deeper than this but now I know that I can make like a much deeper blue just by mixing ultraviolet rockabilly blue and diluting it with conditioner and still have like a nice deep blue without having to just use like straight up color because it's going to save me money making my own little concoctions. This is what we have the day after rinsing out the color I would post up like a photo or whatnot of my hair once it's been like shampooed which I don't even know if I mean when I shampoo my hair tonight I, I'm kind of tempted to do so because the plan is to either to wash my hair tonight if I feel as if my hair is a little greasy which it doesn't seem that way um and I want to wear my hair straight at pride tomorrow or I'm going to wash my hair in the morning and just wear my hair curly to pride. We're still waiting to hear back on that. I don't use dry shampoo because it dries my scalp out so it's not going to be like oh we're just going to do a little dry shampoo moment and go from there. No. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. no. I washed my hair on Wednesday so Saturday will be third day hair which that's not an unusual thing for me to do and everything to go several days without washing my hair but that is it for this little i guess you could say tutorial on how i did this hair it's not really a tutorial but more so just like let me just talk to you guys about how i did my hair this time around so yeah and just like hang out with you guys for a little bit so hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it's different for me the kinds of like hair coloring videos I've done in the past, but I mean, hey, let's switch it up a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and until I see you guys in my next one, whenever that might be, goodbye.